Hey, I'm Mark Wilson. Welcome to Cooking with Wilson. Today we're going to take something that almost everybody loves. If you're watching the show, you definitely love brisket. I mean, really, who doesn't? We're going to do something different with it, though. We're going to make it into one of the most ultimate sandwiches you will ever have with brisket. You can do the same with the pork. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take some jalapeno peppers, slice them in half, fill it full of brisket, cream cheese, and mozzarella. Uh, cheddar jack cheese mixture, wrap that whole thing with bacon, baste it with barbecue sauce, cook that thing at about 400 degrees over indirect heat, and we're going to put that between two very good pieces of bread, and it makes one hell of a sandwich. It's quick, it's easy, it's tasty, and when I say it's easy, it's a lot easier than chopping down a tree to only find out that your chainsaw breaks about halfway through the process, you've got a nice notch, it's a windy day, and the thing's about to come back and hit your house. You got no other choice than to get the axe out and go at it for two hours before the wind picks up. It's a lot easier than that, and yeah, I think you're going to agree. We have our jalapenos we're going to use, but we also have a mix of some of these mini bite-sized bell peppers for somebody who may not like the heat. This is the way to go. Comes out, it's still tasting amazing because the brisket, if seasoned properly, is, makes everything just perfect. So we're going to get to work slicing these up. And the main thing is just cut it in half, pull the stems, uh, all the seeds come out, and um, look, this is a quick process. Next part is essentially just combining our brisket with our cheese and our cream cheese and just mix it all up. for the easy, easy part. I'm going to get this all spread out on our peppers. Just like so. Get it all pushed in there. I'm going to take a piece of bacon. We're going to wrap it around. Just like so. Get it up underneath there. Just like that. Now this is going to be cooked over indirect heat, about 400 degrees. Um, my smoker, I'm going to put it at the very top of it. I'm going to throw some smoke on it. And the heat above it is going to keep it cooked and keep it cooking. So I'm going to continue to finish these up, and next up you'll see me put this on the smoker. So you got our peppers loaded on the top rack, allow that heat from the top of it to come down and cook it from there as well. A ton of insulation, ton of fire bricks going around the entire thing to help keep that heat in. We just want to make sure we get it at 400 degrees uh, to make that happen. Uh, what you hear down below is a bunch of gas helping fuel the fire, get that smoke going. It's going to go for about 35 minutes with it like this. But we're not done quite yet. I'm going to baste it with barbecue sauce. And I always find it easier to baste it outside um, because it's way easier to clean up. So just lightly covered it with barbecue sauce. Mainly I do it all the time with pork. For brisket, don't necessarily do it all the time. But whichever way you do it, whatever you want to do is, is up to you. But just don't overdo it because really the sauce is going to come rubbing off just like that. You just want a little bit of flavor on there. Um, you don't want to really inundate the whole thing. You just want to get that flavor on the bacon is the main thing. Uh, and that gives you a couple of different flavors when you bite into it. You're going to taste the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce that you're choosing. I've got plenty of them listed uh, in different recipes. Uh, whatever was one that you want to like the best, use it. But you're going to get a couple of different flavors that are going to impact you when you bite into this thing. Look, this is basically all there is to it. At this point, just want to kind of cover up that bacon. Ooh, there's some hotness coming out from below there. I promise you that. I guarantee that. And we're going to slide this thing back, let it go for 35 minutes. We want to make sure that bacon's nice and done, nice and crisp. 
So start checking it at about minute 25, depending upon the heat, what you're putting out. And then it'll be time to, uh, to pull them. We've been going at 400 degrees for about half an hour now. And it is time to make sure we double check them again. And it uh, should be time to pull them right about now. Nice and sizzling. Bacon's done. Cannot wait to eat these. Whether you put it on a sandwich, whether you put it on, uh, just like put it off to the side and eat it, whether it's an entree, whether it's a main course, it's going to taste damn good. Well, here you have it. Smoked peppers, jalapeno peppers, brisket, two cheeses, cheese blend, mozzarella, cheddar jack, mm. cream cheese all wrapped up in bacon and then glazed with barbecue sauce to perfection in the smoker. I can't wait to dig into this. As you see, I've got some amazing kettle style chips in there. This all goes is going to be fantastic. If you're into keto, if you're going car free, you can still make the same thing and just make them in popper form like I've seen there and there. And I've got you right here. Hey, uh, shoot me a message. Let me know what you think about it. Hit me up at Cooking with Wilson. That's without the G because I'm country like that. Gmail, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Facebook, whichever one of those works well for you. And let me know what you think about it. Also, this recipe will be in volume three of the cookbook when it comes out. All of my cookbooks, uh, the money, the proceeds that I receive go directly to charity. So um, this go around supporting smiletrain.org. Uh, they help put smiles on, on kids' faces who would no other, not be able to otherwise have them. Uh, they specialize in cleft lip surgery to help uh, restore uh, facial features so the kids can have the, the best smile they possibly can. I, I think that's something we all want to get behind. And um, hey, feel free to donate to smiletrain.org. A link is also below. Um, Whichever one works well for you, uh, let's just make, uh, let's make kids smile and have the ability to smile. And it's a great organization to get behind. Let me know what you think about this. Also, um, what's going to roll after this is going to be some other videos and, that I made. Uh, break out your phone, scan the thing, uh, take you directly to the video, and uh, there should be other stuff that you like that falls right in line with this. Until next time, uh, and hang in there, and remember this one thing. Hey, if you're still telling yourself a rock star, you're a rock star when you're crawling to bed at 8.30, I'm all for that, man. Just just, just keep it up and uh, just take some ibuprofen because that'll help out too. Trust me. I, I know. Bye.